Welcome to this comprehensive guide on how to log into your Access Bank app on another device. Access Bank is a popular financial institution that offers a range of banking services through its mobile app. If you have recently acquired a new device or need to access your bank account on a different phone, this guide will walk you through the step-by-step -step process of logging into your Access Bank app on another device or another phone. So just make sure you follow me to the end of this video to get it all. And also if this video is interesting to you, do well to like, subscribe and leave a comment. So let's get started. The first step you have to take is to download and install the Access Bank mobile app. So if you have not already downloaded it, you have to go over to your Play Store or your App Store. If you are using an Android device, go over to your Play Store. Why? If you are using an iPhone or an iOS device, then you have to go over to your App Store. So let me go over to my Android, um, to my Play Store since I am using an Android device in this tutorial so let me tap on my play store to open it you can see right there my play store is opening so once it opens up then you have to search for access bank app so let me tap on the search icon at the top let me tap on it then let me type in access more or I can, you can simply type in access bank or access more anyone so let me type let me search it out right away access bank um, app then let me tap on search down there you can see guys it's loading right there guys is the access bank app you can see try the written access more let me tap on it so you see it clearly let me tap on it right there guys you can see that's the access bank app you can see it more clearly now you can see the logo right there you can see the name access more this is the mobile banking app for access bank um so now for me to be able to download and install this app into my phone what i simply have to do now is to tap on where you can see install so let me tap on install you can see it right there on the right hand side Right there guys can see the Access Bank app have started downloading. So what I have to do is to wait till it gets to 100%. You can see it's downloading. After downloading, it's going to start installing automatically. You can see it right there. It's almost getting to 100%. Now it has started installing. You can see it right there written installing. Wow guys, you can see the Access More app has been downloaded and installed now into our phone. So what they have to do now is to open it by tapping on open on the right hand side. So let me tap on open. Wow guys, can see the Access Bank app is opening. You can see what's written here. It says allow access more to access your device location. So let me tap on while using this app. Let me tap on it. They can see another notification. It says allow access more to send you notification. So let me tap on allow. You can see it right there at the top. Let me tap on it. Allow. So I can get notification from the mobile app. You can see what's written here. It says hello. Welcome to Access Bank. Let's set up your profile. So let me tap on where you can see get started. You can see it down there. So let me tap on it real quick to get started. Let me tap on it. Then yes, the next step it says, do you have an account with Access Bank? So let me tap on yes. This video is about how to log in the Access Bank app on another device. So it says here, um, do you have a username and password? Of course. So let me tap on yes to proceed with the um, this process. Then here is the next step. It says, welcome to Access More. Which of these applications do you use? Access More, Access Mobile, Diamond Mobile, then Access Online. So that's the first one. So let me tap on Access More. That's the one I've been using. Then let me tap on continue down there. Can see continue down there. Right here, guys, is the next step. Can see what's written there. Login with your Access Bank credentials. That means you have to provide your login details, your username, and your password. You can see the provided space right there. So you have to input it right there. And also, you can see where it is written new device. You can see down there written new device. You can see where it is written next to it change here. So if you want to change your device, you can actually tap on change here. But before I do that, let me get to first of all impute my login details, my username, and password to see um, what the next step is going to look like. Um, to see if i can actually log in so let me go ahead now to provide my login details you can see now i've imputed my username and password so let me tap on sign in to see what the next step is going to look like you can see guys it's loading up you can see guys it's loading up let me see if the sign in is going to work on this new device wow guys can see what's written there it says warning you are attempting to log in on a new device please change device to continue so guys can see what this notification is trying to tell you is that for you to be able to log in your access bank app on another device you will need to change your device and you can see where it is written change device you can see it's right there so what you simply have to do is to tap on change device or if you want to tap on change device right there you can cancel and tap on where you can see change device right there on the um login page the signing page you can see it right there written in blue color so let me go ahead now to tap on it let me tap on it Wow, guys, can see here's the next step. Can see what's written there at the top change device. Um, let me read what is written there. It says 
an OTP will be sent to the phone number connected to your account. So you should be expecting a code sent to your phone number via SMS or via message or via WhatsApp. So an OTP code is going to be sent to you. So take note of that. And also you can see what's written down there. It says completing a change device request will set a transaction limit of 50,000 on your profile for the next 24 hours. So you have to take note of that as well. For the next 24 hours, your transaction limit will be 50,000. So what is required of me right here is to provide my account number so let me go ahead now to input my account number and let me type it in right there guys i've imputed my account number so let me tap on change device right away to proceed with this process then here's the next step it says enter transaction pin so you have to enter the pin that you normally use to authenticate your transaction it's usually your the four digit atm card pin so what i'm going to do now is to go ahead now to impute my four digit um transaction pin um let me impute it right away remember i said um it's a four digit pin usually your your atm card pin you can see i've imputed mine you can see guys it's loading up it's loading let's wait a few seconds it's going to open up Wow, guys, can see here's the next step. It says OTP. Please enter the OTP we sent to your phone number. So what I'm going to do now is to wait patiently for me to get the code, the OTP code that has been sent. Wow, guys, can see the code right there. You can see it right there. And also, you can see what's written down there. It says allow access more to read the message below and enter the code. Um, so you can actually allow access more to enter the code automatically. Let me scroll down for the top of my phone now to show you guys the message that has been sent now from Access Bank. You can see the code right there. So I can simply tap on copy to copy the otp code let me tap on it then let me scroll upward so let me tap on allow to allow access bank to read my message and impute their code automatically let, let them impute the code automatically for me wow guys can see the access bank app have detected the code and imputed it automatically for me so what i'm going to do now is to go ahead now to tap on continue down there so let me tap on continue wow guys can see success device change successfully so that's now i've been able now to change my device to this new device so let me tap on close now to continue with this process wow guys can see it says i'm um, logging with your access bank credentials so i can go ahead now to impute my username and password then i'll be able to log in successfully using this new device using another device so guys let me go ahead now to tap on login sign in rather so let me tap on sign in you can see the next step it says choose your dashboard screen um, so let me, you can either choose standard or new. Um, so let me just um, leave it as standard. Standard has already been chosen. So let me tap on save and close. Then here's the next step. It says um, use biometrics for fast entrance. So you can either activate it or do it later. Let me do it later. So let me tap on not now. I don't want to use my fingerprint for login for now. Then it says um, this is an ad. So let me tap on show me later. Wow, guys, can see now I've been able to log into my Access Mobile Banking app on another device. And this is how you can do it. And I believe this video was helpful to you. If it was, do it to like, subscribe, and leave a comment. See you in the next upload.